Okay. Turn on the light. Light. Switch. It's too dark to see. Feel light switch. Except this is one I can press right. Okay. <clears throat> um, stand up. Very difficult to be managed. The room is still spinning. It dips and sways a little. Uh, touch light. Touch a light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. I think we did it. Good start to the day. Pity it's going to be the worst one of your life. The light is on. Is now on. The bedroom is a mess. It is a small bedroom with a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There is a wash basin. A chair with a tatty dressing gown slung over it and a window with the curtains drawn. Near the exit leading south is a phone. There is a flathead screwdriver here. There is a toothbrush here. Wash base and a chair with Teddy gown, gown. Take gown. Luckily, this is large enough for you to get hold of. You notice something in the pocket. Open pocket. It is hard to open the cl or close the pocket unless you're wearing the gown. Wear the gown. You are now wearing the gown. Hand in pocket. Pocket. Right, we'll save our game in case we die. Um, open pocket. Opening your gown reveals a thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is. It, a buffered analgesic and po po pocket fluff. All right. Um, open curtains. As you part your curtains, you see that it's bright morning. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the meadows are blooming, and a large yellow bulldozer is advancing on your home. Oh my god. Ah, uh, there they exit. Uh, to take screwdriver. It dances by you like a thing possessed. Take toothbrush. You lunge for it, but the room spins nauseatingly away. The floor gives you a light tap on the forehead. Toothbrush. Take toothbrush. It slips through your fumbling fingers and hits the carpet with a nerve shattering bang. Take screwdriver. You certainly pick. You're certainly picking the tough task. The floor acts like a trampoline on an ice rink or something that they've been working on for years at Disneyland. South. You miss the door by a good 18 inches. The wall jostles you rather rudely. Open door. It's already open. Exit. You miss the door by a good inches. Oh my god. Walk through door. Do you have a particular direction in mind? South. South, um, how about east? West, north. Um, leave house. Okay, did you have any particular direction? How solemnly a bulldozer pokes through your wall. However, you have no time for surprise because the ceiling is collapsing on you as your home is unexpectedly demolished to make way for a new bypass. You are seriously injured in the process, but on your way to the hospital, a fleet of Vogon constructor ships unexpectedly arrives and demolishes the earth makes way to your bypass better luck next time lex life you are going but we're about to give you a score put on your peril sensitive glasses um okay how was the score this time zero out of 400 in 19 terms restore please i'm gonna restore our game all right 
uh, look. Bedroom. The bedroom is a mess. It is a small bedroom with a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There is a wash basin, a chair, and a window with the curtains drawn. Near the exit, leading south, is a phone. There is a flathead screwdriver here. Okay, um, use the phone. Um, open curtains. As you part your curtains, you see that it's a bright morning. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the meadows are blooming, and a large yellow bulldozer is advancing on your home. All right, uh, take toothbrush. It says you have things possessed. Take flat, take screwdriver. You're certainly picking up tough tasks. The floor acts like a trampoline on an ice rink or something like they've been working on for years at Disneyland. Uh, use phone. Take phone. Dances you. Um, go exit south. South. Miss a doorway by a good 18 inches. Open pocket. Opening your gown reveals the th a thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is a, a buffered analgesic and pocket fluff. Ah. Look at doorway. It, look at exit. Use the word exit that I don't expand, understand. Look. The bedroom is a mess. It is a small bedroom with a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There is a wash basin, uh, a chair, exit window. You miss the doorway by a good 18 inches. The wall. Look at window. As you part your curtains, you see that it's bright morning. The sun is shining. Uh, open window. Um, Exit. It's a doorway by a good 18 inches. The wall jostles you rather rudely. Take basin. Take wash basin. It's not important, leave it alone. Look. Um, grab. What do you want to grab? Grab screwdriver. Okay, um, yell. Ah, oh, doggone it. It didn't work. Um, I just, you were about, I got zero out of four, 400 terms. I died again. So let's load the game. Restore. All right, let's open the game. Crawl. How about crawl? Will that work? Uh, you can't, at least not in the game. In this game, you can't. Uh, floor. Look at carpet. It's not important. Leave it alone. Look at room. The bedroom is a mess. It is a small bedroom with a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There is a wash basin, a chair, and a window with the curtains drawn. Near the exit leading south is a phone. Grab phone. It slips through your fumbling fingers and hits the carpet with a nerve shattering band. Pick up phone dances by you like a thing possessed how do we leave exit miss the door by a good 18 inches the wall jostles you rather rudely help uh, if you're really stuck a complete map and invisic clues hint booklet are available from your dealer or via mail order with the form that came in your package